In this video, I will be going over how to make one of the smallest possible particle accelerators in nuclear tech mode capable of processing every recipe there is, and also how to calculate the accelerator size based on the coil that you are using. This is a question I got on my Sparticle video. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's start with the most expensive part of this build, which will be dense mesh coil. Now, dense mesh coil is not only expensive, but also very difficult to obtain, because it can only be crafted using the black book. Now, black book is only obtained in a meteor dungeons, which spawn very rarely. The total number of mesh coils that you will need will be 14 times 8, which is 112. Next, you will also need the normal copper coil, which is the superconducting coil, the 10 giga HG power plug, and also all of the other standard components like plating, excess terminal, and core component. So first we'll start by coming three blocks up from the ground so that we have a little space to walk down there and then we'll make our first segment made up of dense mesh coil. Now in this segment place down your particle accelerator core component in the correct orientation and now on the either side we are going to add two more coils like this or sorry two more segments like this making it total five blocks. So first we have this 5 long segment, then perpendicular to it we are going to have two more segments, one which is going to be 5 long and another one which is going to be 4 long. So here's the one which is 5 long and now on the other side let's make one which is 4 long. And the remaining segment can be filled up using the normal copper coils. So the total amount of mesh coils or the total segments we have is 5 plus 5, 10 and plus 4 which is 14. For the analysis chamber, make two normal segments of copper coil like this and now we can start filling up the corners. Now most of the mistakes happen in the corner, so make sure to fill them very carefully. Leave, making sure that you are not obstructing the path of the particles and also filling up coils in the very corners like this. So yeah. And once the corners are complete, your accelerator is going to look something like this. Now next up, we can start on the analysis chamber, which will be a 3x3 three three block gap in the middle. So cover it up using the analysis chamber window. And there we go. So that's the analysis chamber done. Now with that, you can place the excess terminal in the very center of the particle accelerator, where we placed our core component. And now we can start covering up this entire accelerator with particle accelerator plating. For this one, I am going with the blue color plating. And here World Edit is going to help you out a lot. Once you have covered all of the open coils, next we can take care of the power requirement. For that, break out 3 blocks in the middle where the excess terminal was and place 10 giga HG power plugs. Now placing an energy buffer like spark or cerbidium energy storage block and switch it to input output mode which will start supply power to the accelerator. To test this accelerator, grab any random block like dirt or sand and then run it. You will see that the momentum value is over 1 million which means that this accelerator can successfully process Daiga, which is the most expensive recipe requiring a momentum value of exactly 1 million. Now, if we run this accelerator in linear mode, then the value will be half or less than half and we will get a momentum value of 480,480. So that's how this accelerator will work. Like for example, we have Daiga, which required a momentum value of 1 million. And we have dense mass coil, which has a coil strength of 10,000. So using these two values, we can calculate the number of coils needed, therefore determining the size of the accelerator. So we have 14 segments times 8, which is a total of 112 coils, times 10,000, which is the coil strength, which will give us a total momentum value of 1.1 million. But as you saw, the momentum was not this much as some of it is probably lost. I don't know, but yeah, you are going to need more coils than what the calculation will suggest. Let's take a look at this thing using an example. For it, we are going to use Sparticle. So Sparticle will require a momentum value of 500,000 and we are going to use dense shear beaded coil, which has a coil strength of 500. So 500,000 divided by 500 will be equal to 1000, which when divided by 8, will equal to 125 segments. 
So for these 125 segments, I have divided them in 31 long, 33 long times 2 which is 66 and finally 14 long. So we have 31 plus 66 plus 14 times 2 which is 28 therefore giving us a total of 125 segments. For the corners, I am going to use the normal copper, uh, the normal copper coil or the superconducting coil. So now you will see that once we try to run this accelerator, the momentum value will not exactly be 500,000. It will end up being less than that. So first things first, let's take a look at one of the most common error, which is the no charge error. So when I run this accelerator, it will basically result in an explosion. And yeah, the access terminal will say the error 01, which is the no charge error. For the no charge error, you need to place down power plugs. And the power plug should be placed near where the explosion is happening. The no charge error happens when the coils are not receiving enough power. So now that I have placed a power plug near where the explosion was taking place, you can see that the explosion has shifted far away. That means these coils are not receiving power. So keep on repeating this process for your accelerator until there is no explosion and the random blocks that you have placed will only give one error which is the invalid recipe error. But now you can see that the momentum that we have is less than 500,000 as I told you. So basically calculating the values using coil strength and the coil values you will not get the exact momentum needed. For the momentum or for the accelerator to work properly, you will generally need more coils, a few more coils than what the calculation suggests. So now that I have replaced one of the corners entirely with shear-beaded coils, the momentum should be enough or it should be over 500,000. So let's wait for it and there we go. We have a momentum value of 504,000. So now we can successfully process particle in this accelerator. So that is how the accelerator size will largely depend on what kind of coils you are using. This was Shelby dead coil, therefore the accelerator size was not a lot. If I was using another or basically a less strong coil, then the accelerator you need to make would be much bigger. Because in order to get to that momentum, you need a whole lot more coils. You can also use the Hadron troubleshooting book in order to see all of the different errors that the particle accelerator can give you and also how to solve these errors. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Peace out.